Great. So what about you know, fueling today? If you're fueling a diesel truck, you've got fumes, spills, toxic environment, prices change all the time. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is, is it actually t it takes up to 15 minutes or more to actually fill a, a, a truck. You have to sit there for 15 minutes while the, the tank gets filled. As compared to charging a, a, a Tesla truck, you can charge at your origin or destination. So while, while you're unloading your cargo, you can charge. Boom. Boom. So the, 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 reason, the, reason, the reason 400 miles is important is because you, ha you, you have to tra take a break eventually. So, so if, if, you, if, you drive for, if you drive for five or six hours, which is a, that's about as much as you want to be driving continuously, because you have to stop for a bathroom break, go, get a bite to eat. Um, in fact, you're legally required to stop for 30 minutes. So, but, but you, uh, if, uh, 400 miles is like six, plus, six to seven hours of driving. Which means, the, the, what, what this means in practice is that by the time you are, you're done with your break, the, the truck is ready to go. You will not be waiting for your truck to charge. It's a big deal. And because of the Tesla mega chargers that will be installing worldwide, just like we've got superchargers installed worldwide, if you've seen the supercharger map, it started off with just a few super, with just a few chargers in California. Now we have uh, superchargers uh, throughout the world. And you'll be able to go anywhere uh, in, with a, a Tesla uh, consumer vehicle. The same will be true of the Tesla Semi. You'll be able to travel any, anywhere in the world on the Tesla mega charger network. And, uh, and, and that means we can guarantee the electricity rates because this, these will be solar powered mega chargers um, that uh, charge to a Tesla power pack. It's 24-7. Guaranteed low electricity. And because these, these, these mega charges are solar powered, your truck is running on sunlight. Okay. What about safety? Now, when I say safety, I'm talking about the, the driver's safety, I'm also talking about other cars on the road, I'm talking about pedestrians, safety for everyone. Um, if, if you've got 80,000 pounds moving at 60 miles an hour, it's a, it's a very dangerous thing. Every truck we sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Okay. <laughs> but the truck will automatically brake. <laughs> What do I do? Yeah, you can read it too. Um, auto, it'll automatically break, but uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if even if uh, even if you're in the truck and you have a medical emergency, the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, it'll actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It, it's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of other cars. It's going to take care of pedestrians. This is a massive increase in safety. A few other things about safety. It's got, with that central position, you're in a very safe position. Uh, even if you were to collide with, with, with a, another semi, uh, you have a low center of gravity that gives you really good handling. It means the probability of a rollover is massively reduced because the battery pack is in the floor pan. And, uh, and, and rollover risk is, is, is dramatically reduced. Um, and perhaps most importantly, um, jackknifing is, is uh, usually the worst nightmare of a, of a trucker. Uh, how do you stop your, your vehicle from, from jackknifing if you're in, in difficult conditions? The truck will automatically stop jackknifing because it's got independent motors on each wheel and it'll, it'll dynamically adjust the torque on each wheel so that jack, jackknifing is impossible. Your worst nightmare is gone with this truck. Gone. You never have to worry about it. <laughs> so it's a miserable job. <laughs> um, 
reliability. Uh, <laughs> reliability is incredibly important. A, a, a truck is, is your life, it's your business. Truck breaks down, you're disappointing your customers. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a horrible day, it could be a horrible week. It could break down in the middle of nowhere, it's the safety issues. Uh, reliability is incredibly important. We're putting massive attention into making this tr truck incredibly reliable. And that's why we are guaranteeing that this truck will not break down for a million miles. We are guaranteeing it won't break down for a million miles because it has four independent motors. You can lose two of those four motors and the truck will still keep going. In fact, even if you only have two of the four motors active, it'll still be a diesel truck. It's not fair, really. Um, so, then what, it has, you know, there's a few other benefits as well. Uh, brakes, brakes are a big deal for trucks. You gotta stop 80,000 pounds, it's not easy, that's a lot of brake, that's a lot of brake wear. But because the, with, with an electric motor, you can turn the brakes into generators. So every time you brake, that kinetic energy of braking goes right straight back into the battery pack instead of, heat, instead of wearing down a brake pad. So the brake pads basically last forever. The, 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 you never need to replace brake pads ever, ever. So you, yeah, no brake, no brake pad changes ever. You don't have to worry about transmission. Uh, there's, there's no transmission. Transmission can't break. There are no emissions, no scrubbers, no differentials. Um, and, and this is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion proof glass. Close, I mean it's close. So standard glass, now, now why is this important? Because, uh, uh, see, look, nothing. Um, survived a nuclear explosion, that was incredible. So the, the, the actually what's important here is, uh, but nuclear, survives a nuclear explosion or you get a full refund. <laughs> okay, full refund. Um, the, the reason this is important is because uh, tr truck, windshields are huge, and they crack about once a year. Um, and if the truck windshield is cracked, you're not allowed to drive. So it actually it's truck off-road if you have a cracked, cracked windshield. And that, and that means lost revenue, disappointed customers, it's a terrible, it's a terrible day, and you, if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, it could take ages to get a, to get a new windshield. So actually this, 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 detail, uh, this detail matters a lot uh, to, to someone who really is, is, understands trucking. Um, it's, it's, it's small but very important. Then we have, in terms of connectivity to your truck, understanding what's going on, we have the Tesla app that gives you full information about your truck. This is a sort of normal, it's like we take it for granted uh, with, uh, if you've got a Model S or Model X or something like that, but this is not normal, actually, for trucks. You have full access to all your truck information, you've got remote diagnostics, you can, uh, you can see uh, what's going on. Preventative maintenance, the truck will actually anticipate when it needs to be when it needs maintenance and, and inform you ahead of time. Um, and uh, it, it connects with uh, the fleet, so if you've got, if you're trying to manage a fleet of thousands of trucks, this is also incredibly important. All this data is coming in, you know exactly what's going on. Uh, it's going to uh, really help you manage your trucking. Now, having said all this, you're probably wondering how much is this gonna cost? Because Tesla stuff is expensive. Um, <laughs> but we realize that trucking, the economics of trucking matter tremendously. If, if, you have a if your cost per mile is too high, it, it doesn't make economic sense. You can't make it work. So we, we really thought about this a lot. And when you take everything into account, you take the lease cost, the insurance cost, maintenance, all of the factors, the, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than a, than a Tesla Semi per mile. So. I want to be clear, this is from day one. So it, from day one, having a Tesla Semi will beat a diesel truck on economics. Day one. And this is, at, this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is the this is the this is the worst case scenario comparison. This is taking max vehicle gross. It's it's going at 60 miles an hour, 
um, and it's assuming $250 ga gasoline price. We're guaranteeing a seven cent kilowatt wholesale price. What am I clear about that? Yeah. This is real, these are real numbers. And it only gets better than this. This is a worst case scenario. Now, one truck, one, a Tesla truck considered by itself beats other diesel trucks. But what if you have a convoy? So what if you have two, uh, trucks, two trucks following? So you, you're, you're, you're more like a train, dri train driver. In fact, um, the, the convoy technology, the tracking technology, this is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. So this is, I want to be clear, this is something we can do now. And wait for that plane, there you go. Now if you look at the economics of a truck convoy, it gets way better. Now a diesel truck is twice as expensive as a Tesla Semi. This, so it's, what this means is, it's, it's not just economic suicide to use one diesel truck, it's economic suicide for rail. This beats rail. So, and that's, that's I think, really quite, quite profound. Um, we're confident that this is a product that is better in every way from a feature standpoint, that wins on economics against uh, uh, diesel trucks in a worst case scenario, and that defeats rail um, in a convoy scenario. And pr production begins 2019. So if you order now, get the car, the truck in two years. All right. So. All right, so that's the, the Tesla, the Tesla Semi. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. All right, guys, take it away. Thank you, thanks.